Welcome to Philadelphia, where there's one thing in mind, the Eagles, as they take on the Patriots in the Super Bowl later on this evening. But first, a Super Bowl appetizer in the city of brotherly love. That's because the number one team in the nation hails from Philadelphia. It's the Villanova Wildcats ready to take on the Seton Hall Pirates in Big East Conference play. Let's take a look at the standings in the Big East. Villanova top of the table. Only one loss all season on the road to Butler, followed by number six Xavier. And the Pirates are right in the hunt at six and three overall. Hi, everybody. Gus Johnson along with former Ohio State All-American Jim Jackson. And welcome to Philadelphia Villanova, number one team in the nation. The question is, can this Seton Hall team finally figure out a way to take the Pirates to take the Wildcats rather in the deep water. Well, they can because they're a very physical team. They love to rebound the basketball, look for them to be physical and going to post, post early. Villanova beats you with their execution, their footwork, and their ability just to stay solid offensively. All right, let's join the third member of our team on the sideline, Lisa Byington. Well, guys, Jay Wright was very frank with me about his biggest concern. He said this, normally experience is our advantage against teams. It's not against Seton Hall. Remember, the Pirates start four seniors. Desi Rodriguez is one. You can see their scoring output here for the year. Rodriguez told me, look, we are not intimidated. We are not scared. We are more than capable of going toe-to-toe -to -toe against Villanova, yes. All right, Pirates starting four seniors. Villanova starting three juniors as we take a look at the Jeep starting lineup. Yeah, but Miles Powell stroking it beyond the yard. 12 made threes in the last four games. And for Villanova, how about this? Double, Miles Mikel Bridges, double figures in all nine Big East games, including three 20-point games. And your officials for today's game, Mike Stevens, Roger Ayers, and Mike Eads. Villanova and Seton Hall. Villanova beat Seton Hall 55-53 in the semifinals of the Big East Tournament at Madison Square Garden. This is a series that dates back to 1921. Villanova leads it 72 to 41. And here we go, Pirates with the basketball. Carrington has been playing very good basketball recently. For the Pirates inside, Angel Delgado, the Big East all-time leader in rebounding, just passed. The great Derek Coleman, and he'll lay the first one in. Well, that play worked for the Seton Hall team successfully. It was a side pick and roll. You clear the corner. And Delgado rolls, and now there's a switch opportunity. He can use his power, as we saw against Mikhail Bridges, to score inside. Spellman, step back, jump shot. And the freshman from Ohio hits his first shot. What a I pleasure. think a guy from Ohio to come to stop Because he's smart. He understands the plan for Jay Wright. As a pick and pop guy, a versatile player, he'll be involved. A lot in their offense. Time for three. First shot, loose ball, batted around, picked up, so no go inside, and it'll bank it down. That's the question. That's the big question. Can this Seton Hall team, a bunch of inner city kids from New York, take Villanova in the deep water? Can they take them to the boogie down? Can they take them <laughs> to Bed Stuy or to Brownsville? Hey, Jer Jersey stand up, but listen, when they crash the boards like that and you see a three-point shot from Spillman, they're as tough as any team to stop. And they're so active, it's tough to get a body on them. You gotta locate them early and keep them out the lane. Kevin Willard, the 2016 Big East Coach of the Year with Jay Wright. He led that 2016 squad to the first Big East tournament title since 1993. And their first NCAA bid since 2006. What a game that was. At Madison Square Garden. Here's Karen. Powell dumps it down low. Great catch. No, they got a can't hold on. Pascal will bring it into the front court. They say Pascal is Javon Pinkston with a jump shot. Highly athletic to stroke it, but also his motor is hot. Vincenzo working on the baseline. They swing it. Bridges rises. Sure. Carrington in motion. Rodriguez. Quick release. And it hits. Seton Hall off to a good start. Pirates up 72. And guys, it may not seem like a lot, but that pass from Carrington to Rodriguez off of one dribble in transition before the defense can get set. From a point guard perspective, that's what you're supposed to do. Set your teammates up so they can have shots in transition before the defense gets set. Here's Brunson averaging 19 points a game. Even Chinzo trying to get the step on the baseline, and he's fouled. 
GQ Jake. When you talked to him before the game, what were his points of emphasis? Well, one, being physical, not allowing Seton Hall to dominate the defense of their offensive glass because with this team, it's a number of guys, and not just the bigs inside, but it's their guard. So all five, six, seven, eight guys for Villanova are going to have to hit the defensive glass. DiVincenzo, the inbounder, lobs at Spellman with the catch. Guarded by Delgado, trying to take a quick release, 14 middle and good. That's what you learned in the Midwest. That's what Derek Coleman used to do coming out of Michigan. That's what Jimmy Jackson used to do coming out of Columbus, Ohio. Why'd you, Toledo, Ohio, why'd you, put, why'd you put Michigan first? Why, why I, mean, I mean, why'd you, I mean, why would not? Because you're sitting here with me. Come on. See, that's, that's a lack of respect. See, that's what I'm saying. Spellman, he's had some up and down games in Big East play, but he's a freshman. Incredible talent. Delgado, pick and roll, 15-foot pull, lefty good from the Bronx, New York. Right, and I love the control. It, this is playing off of what they did against Providence, Seton Hall. Under control, low turnovers, taking high-quality shots, letting and allowing the offense to work for them instead of trying to force situations. Runs it in and out, dribbling. His shot partially blocked. Sinogo rips it out of the air. We'll bring it into the front court. Baseline, Carrington, DJ. Uh-oh. Villanova's got trouble early. 11 to 4, Seton Hall. Wait, this, I mean, the Seton Hall team, when they're concentrated and focused and not trying to force the situation, they're as good as any team in the country. Seton Hall not afraid of the number one team. DiVincenzo guarded by Powell. Powell told me before the game, I've got heart. I'm going to shut some of these guys down today. Baseline Bridges. Bumping with Rodriguez. Grinding. Baseline spin. Blocked by Rodriguez. Picked up by Dixon. Powell, cross court, Carrington again, rising fire. Great tempo to start this game. Even Chinzo. Passing steps into a jail. Long rebound, picked up by Bridges. New shot clock, runs it. Drives baseline on the move. Kicks baseline, here's Spellman. Guys, you know what's interesting about that? Talking to Coach Willard, two things he wanted to take away, well, one thing he wanted to take away was Spellman and Pascal's three-point shooting. Not the guards, those two bigs. Sonogo travels, big hop, but Spellman off to a good start. The freshman with seven points. We've got a battle in the Big East on Super Bowl Sunday in Philly. Number one Villanova trailing Seton Hall. Fox College Hoops is sponsored by the Lincoln Continental. 11-7, Seton Hall on top of Villanova. And here are today's Geico players to watch. Well, for Seton Hall, it's Kadeen Carrington. Last game against Providence, only 23 points, but it was the one turnover. Under control, when he plays like this, this is a different Seton Hall team. Of course, Jalen Brunson, the lawnmower, steady as it comes. He can also, the ability for him to get to the basket, to, to draw defenders to him, and then make plays. Intelligent plays is what makes this young man so special. And they move Carrington from the two to the one after Isaiah Whitehead left to go to the NBA. And it's taken some time for him to adjust. But I think he's doing a pretty solid job. Well, you know, he's a natural scorer. So to kind of change that mentality to where he has to ensure that his teammates get involved first is, is something different. But when he plays under control, I mean, my goodness, man, he's not only one of the best in the Big East, but he's one of the best point guards in the country. There's Brunson, drives on the baseline. Tries to dip inside. Carrington closes on him nicely. Bridges slashing across the lane. Got it up short, but a foul. Oh, Murray Spellman off to a great start coming off. 14 points, 5 for 10 shooting, but more importantly, 4 for 7 from behind the three point line against Craig. It's a, you know, it's a challenge to have to guard a young man like this who can pick and pop. He stretches the defense, and then he can also hit you at a mid range and get into the post. He's only scratching the surface, Gus, on how good he can ultimately be. Meanwhile, Bridges. College, make it the professional scouts to salivate over this kid because of his length and his athleticism. They're always here watching. Well, you know what else they like? And they love his progression and his work ethic. You saw him grow since his redshirt freshman year into the player that he is now, and that has value when teams look at you know 
who ultimately they may want to draft. Inside, Delgado kept it up high, comes up short, well defended by Cosby Roundtree, the freshman. Brunson, slow offensively, he's drawing a lot of attention every time he touches the ball, DiVincenzo, and the big Ragu is on the board. See how quickly the ball moved, bing, bing, now you have a shot in rhythm, but give Seton Hall credit early on Brunson, they're staying down and not going for his patented punt fake. 7-0 run for Villanova. Meanwhile, Powell coughed it up. DiVincenzo picks it up. What a move on the sideline to the cut. The kick bridges a three. Now Karen. Powell's got a great jump shot. Delgado, this is his sweet spot. Across the lane. Short. Cosby Roundtree takes it out of the air. He's got to play big minutes now as a freshman. Diagonal pass, Pascal. In the corner, runs in deep. Pascal with a rebound. Bridges up. Eric Pascal is a man that they feel they could get a whole lot more out of. Well, in that particular play, guys, because Villanova was able to get up the court quickly, the numbers weren't there, the offensive rebound available. Now you're able to get fouled and get to the free throw line. And Rodriguez picks up his second, so he'll have to sit at the 1340 mark of the first half. Bridges makes the first one. Three things you need to know about Bridges. His favorite movie, Minions. His favorite thing with his dad, to laugh. Best birthday gift, a dog. My man. But he plays for the Cats. Yeah, but he wanted a dog. Okay. We've got to got to balance it out. You know, Nine over. Got cats and dogs can get together. They can, they, you know. You, you, got, you, you, you got a rock water, baby. Right? Rock water, baby. No. Cats Rottweiler, and dogs baby. can get together. Uh huh. Wolverines and Buckeyes. That's true, though. I played with two Wolverines, so. Nothing with that. Until we get around March Madness, we have to relive some games. Miles Kale has checked in for Seton Hall. Carrington. Guarded by DiVincenzo. Rodriguez playing with two fouls. They let him stay in the game. Here's a teardrop. He got it. Well, another turn down the pick and roll that time. Pascal jumped to the outside of the pick. Desi Rodriguez was able to read it. Knew he had some room to navigate on the left side. You surprised Coach Willard letting him stay in the game with two fouls? Well, he trusted. He's a senior. He, he understands. And a lot of coaches, you know, like to do that because it, at some point they're going to have to play through foul trouble, whether it's now or later in the tournament. DiVincenzo. Rodriguez with an early seven points. He heads it in transition. Kale drives across the lane, pivots, fires, and short. Spellman back in with the pool. They're going up and down in Philadelphia. These two teams have a history. Inside, Brunson, the kick, Pascal deep. Carrington, Kale in the front court. Carrington on the hop to the pivot, rejected. Spellman active today. Well, out in transition, this was a tough play because now you have three players for Villanova plus a fourth trailing for Dean Carrington to kind of get that shot up. Probably you probe it. If you don't have it, bring it up because you know what? You have four players below the free throw line, Gus. That's when that trailer coming in will be open for a shot. So Rodriguez goes out of the game. Sandro in the game now for Seton Hall. Carrington. Sandra, the handoff, Kale, hesitation, gets to the bucket and draws a foul. Colin Gillespie called for his first foul. Freshman with Booth injuring his hand. Guys have to come off the bench and step up. Even Chinzo. And with Gillespie, what you get is instant energy off the bench. His hand is still a little weak, his left hand. But can guard the heck out of the basketball. Looking at Gillespie, you just see a young Ryan Archie Diakono. He looks look just like him, Just like him. Pascal curling down the lane, hangs in the air. And, and, and that's such a tough play to guard, especially when Sandro, when you're a big man, you're not used to guarding 
your guy off of a screen and that time a tight curl by Pascal and then his ability to put it on the deck and absorb contact and finish. Villanova taking the lead. Carrington off the dribble and he'll get the roll from Brooklyn, New York. He's another left-hander. He has four points. We're level at 15. Back door, Bridges, nice catch. Oh! oh! Woo! That's why they like him. Oh, that's why they love him. Oh, my goodness. Mikel Bridges. And this place is buzzing now. Powell driving. And rattles one home off the dribble from Tritton. And how about Seton Hall? You stay in the game and you have a chance to beat Villanova by responding when they make a play that gets a crowd into it. In two straight possessions, Seton Hall has been able to respond. Spellman, a 16-foot jump shot. Rebounded by Kale. Pascal trailer. Seton Hall shooting 53%, 8 of 15 to start this game. Carrington guarded by Pascal. Takes it to the bucket, the runner off the glass, high and in with the right hand. I'm telling you, man, I mean, Seton Hall, these are tough-minded individuals. They don't get caught up into the hype. They're seniors, upperclassmen that kind of been through it. Gillespie, DiVincenzo with space, tried to squeeze it in, ball kicked. And out of bounds. Watch this. Great back door. <laughs> the extension. Sandro. Pardon, I know you young, but welcome to my house. <laughs> but Kadeen Carrington with the answer. 1917, we've got a game in Philly. Big East College Basketball is sponsored by Jeep Grand Cherokee. 1917, Seton Hall on top of number one Villanova Saturday on Fox. It's a Big East doubleheader. Top ranked Villanova takes on Butler and sixth ranked Xavier clashes with Creighton. It all starts at 11.30 Eastern on Fox or streaming live on Fox Sports. Again. Time now for the Jackson. What are you talking about today? Uh, just a little something here. The Blue Bloods. That's what we're talking about. The way college basketball, we're accustomed. Kansas, Duke, Kentucky all lose yesterday, but we're so accustomed to them being dominant in the national pitcher. But this year's been a little bit different, especially with Duke and Kentucky young up front. Not the same kind of experience. That's why you see a Virginia, Villanova, Purdue, Texas set teams that have veteran kind of players, even the Seton Hall, kind of being a little bit more steady. Now, Duke, I think, would be tough in the tournament in a one-game scenario. So will Kansas. But in conference play, keep in mind, teams know each other so well. Hence, the struggle with those three teams. St. John's upsetting Duke yesterday at the Garden. What a game. Shamari Ponds, 33. He hit some of the greatest shots I've ever seen. You can't guard, you can't guard him one-on-one, -on -one, man. Forget about it. He just runs it back at his man down, gets him in the paint, elevates, and gets the roll. And, and how many schools do you see where they post up their point guard? See, that's a different kind of coverage when you have that advantage because he not only can beat you, oh, great back door. Desi Rodriguez gets his own rebound and stick back. Way well, to stay with it, Desi. And if here's my point on Brunson, he not only can beat you with the score, but he can beat you by passing. But Desi able to know exactly where the ball was coming out and couldn't get a body on him. Runs it. Draws double team. Here's Bridges. Extra pass, DiVincenzo. Good big right here. That's your guy. Six points for Dante DiVincenzo. And Villanova goes up by a point. Powell always looking for that chip shot. Well, bat it up and in. Looks like Delgado got a hand on it. And Angel with four. And five rebounds. And when you think about it, he's the all-time leader 
in rebounding in the Big East. That's Derek Coleman, Patrick Ewing, the Kimbe Mutombo. Some of the guys he's beaten out in front and get straight to the basket. Well, it, it is because he understands who he is, his value. He's not trying to be the all-time lead scorer. He knows that for him to be most dominant and effective is to do that and to rebound the ball. Very nice play as Ducato hits Michael Enzi for the backdoor cut and layup plus the foul. Well, one of the strengths of Delgado is his passing ability out of the post. He averages about three assists a game, and it's underrated, but he loves to be able to do it. It's, speaking about posting up, this is all isolation right here. The corner empty. Also, the wing is empty, so now he can go one-on-one, -on -one and you can't help down low. So excellent execution in regards to giving him space to work. Michael Enzi, the Nigerian junior. This is the free throw. Cosby Roundtree with the board. So here comes Brunson with Bridges. Spellman, Pascal, Cosby Roundtree. Brunson turns the corner. Step back jumper. Deep. And to the rebound. Seton Hall on the move. Baseline. Kale. In and out. Tight rims. In Philadelphia. Bridges, bumping and grinding. Across the lane. Can't get it to stay down. Offensive rebound goes to Cosby Roundtree. New shot clock. Spellman, 20 footer. And hits. Watch out for these kids, folks. Kyle Neptune, Ashley Howard. They've been working with him. He's a red shirt freshman, and he's got major game. Ten points for him. Delgado posted. Baseline turn, extra pivot, and banks it in. Well, look, listen, in pregame, that's the move they worked on with Delgado. Everybody knows he loves to get to that left shoulder and that right jump hook, but that time, he did exactly what they did in pregame. Dribble, dribble, now you spin to the baseline, no help is there, able to finish with his left. Brunson forcing his way to the basket. Inside pull up. Oh. Spellman got a hand on it, couldn't corral it. 27 up. Rodriguez, 16 foot J. Inside, Cosby Roundtree with position and the foul. Philadelphia native. Gives Villanova a two-point lead. Well, running the court, you reward your big man for the defense and the hustle. Give him easy two inside, able to knock it in. And this has been a problem, a concern for Seton Hall. Mari Spellman, two for three already from behind the three-point line. And they'll got him. Not just a rebounder, folks. I can also score with the best of them. The emotion of the Big East Conference, the number one team in the nation, being tested early. Villanova up by two. Fox College Hoops is sponsored by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Super Bowl Sunday in Philadelphia. Eagles ready to play the Patriots in the big one later on. But right now, let's go inside the huddle with Seton Hall coach Kevin Willard. We're not boxing out right now. We're not boxing out. They're getting free runs in. It's not a good way to go. We gotta send the message on the next shot. Gotta box out. Gotta box out. Understand? Gotta box out. <laughs> I mean, it's real, real simple. simple. <laughs> you wanna get the ball and run? Box out. Let's go to Lisa Byington. Gus listening into Jay Wright's huddle. He's concerned a little bit about his own guards leaking out. So expect them to be a little bit more responsible for rebounding. Right now, Seton Hall with a 15 to 11 edge in that category. Offensively, he challenged his guards to attack Harrington off the bounce and to attack Rodriguez, especially off the bounce, Gus. All right, thank you very much. Seven ties, seven lead changes in this game as Gillespie comes in. Guarding Carrington. Let's see if Carrington tries to go at the freshman. Tough task for Gillespie. Here's Carrington on top power. Oh. Two three zone by Villanova, Gus. Now Carrington inside. 
goes right at Gillespie and draws contact. Well, that time Gillespie on his closeout, his right leg was dropped and open, which means that it gave Carrington the ability to get by him with his right shoulder and get right into the lane. Gillespie has to square him up on his closeout. So Carrington at the line, coming off a 23-point game on Wednesday against Providence. He was 9 of 14, also had seven dimes, three steals, and three boards. Three things you need to know about this young man from Brooklyn, New York. His dream date, Rihanna. Okay. Favorite ice cream, party cake. And if I could live anywhere, New York City. You look like a New York City kind of guy. Jimmy, like you look like living in New York City. I love the city. Love the city. I know you love it. 25 years. Yeah. You know what I love about it is the energy, but I like little lounges to go to, little places you can just chill, you know, relax. Carol Flying Pigs. Oh, oh yeah. T52. No. Come on, cigars, baby. You know that. Skip back. Bridges looking. Spellman calling for it. Great matchup here. Spellman Delgado. Spellman. And he carried the ball. Delgado not giving any ground. And he played him with his chest that time, Delgado. Not allowing. Spellman to back him in, and again, that's that experience as a senior. One, he made Amari catch the ball further out, so you have to take more dribbles and try to get within your range. Pow. Not a good shot. Here's Pascal. Even Chinzo, baseline, inside, Spellman, and contact. Augusta, good teams make you play, make you pay. When you make a mistake, that time a quick shot by Powell allows Villanova to get down and be able to get into a position where the ball fake not staying solid, and then Amar Spillman right there in the middle making himself available, the passing on time. The Villanova team makes you pay, man. One thing about Jay Wright teams, all his players do a sensational job. Ball fake, jump stop. Well, they work on it so much, and I had the experience of watching my son go through with Wisconsin. Okay, so it's mundane, it's boring, uh, it's not exciting when you watch it in practice. Jump stop, the little passes, the little drills, all of those things. But when it comes to a game, it becomes second nature. And guys are not as disciplined on the defensive end, and they go for it, and now you're effectively able to execute that stuff during the game. Spellman at the line, 10 points in the first half. Second free throw, no good. Ball knocked out of bounds. Seat Hall will get it. 30 to 29. Carrington, Sonogo, Powell, Delgado, Kale. Nova playing zone, Carrington stripped. Picked up by Spellman, fourth turnover for the Pirates. Ivicinzo off the screen. And an offensive foul, or yes, an offensive foul called against the Wildcats. Yeah, Kadeem Carrington saying my fault on that last possession. It's very tough to split this zone defense. And on the other end of the ledger, here it is. A, yeah, that was an easy call for the official right in the back by Spellman. Powell dumps it down low. Angel Delgado, you can't give him that kind of position. He will eat you up every time. Well, because Miles Powell was able to get kind of in the deep into the zone, it collapsed the zone, and that allowed Delgado to clear some space to get free down low. Eight points for Delgado. Runs it, leans in, draws a foul. Tricky, tricky. Well, part of playing against the zone, if you can screen the top man, now you can get down in the key. Delgado smartly relocates to the other side of the rim. Watch him inside. He doesn't stay married to that side. He comes to the opening. Bam, he receives it. Didn't want to really bring it down, but now he's able to get it up in the air and score. Jalen Brunson. Get up, get up, get up, get up. And now Cosby Roundtree comes back in. A lot of people talking Jalen Brunson for National Player of the Year. He's a winner. Got a lot of boogie in his game, folks. He's gotten leaner. 
quicker, stronger. And Carrington over and back. Five turnovers for Seton Hall, back-to-back -back turnovers for Carrington. Well, here it is. It's a game within the game. We saw Villanova and Jay Wright switch up to go to a 2-3 zone. Made Seton Hall uncomfortable. Then they went to a full-court press, making them, again, uncomfortable. Three turnovers. Michael Stevens and Coach Willard having a conversation. Take a look at the play here. So they'll give it to Villanova. Taking his time. Shaking. in his game. Sick with it on that one. I mean, that was straight isolation, my man. Powell drives, hangs, banks it in. What Trenton makes, the world takes. <laughs> but again, the ability for Seton Hall to respond is a mark of a really well-coached team. And they're right where they want to be going into halftime, guys. 33 up. Brunson draws a double team now. And reach and foul on Powell. But Jalen Brunson. Sometimes you just boogie with it. The defense is in front, it doesn't matter. I got all day to work with it. If you're up in my face, I can still splash you with a nice jump shot. Talk about what Coach Boltman has done with the Ohio State Buckeyes, your alma mater. Yeah, probably one of the least talented teams in the Big Ten, but this team has figured out his mantra and how to play. We shouldn't be surprised by Virginia with Tony Bennett, Auburn, of course, in the, they're playing extremely. How about the Washington Huskies? Just beat Arizona. Arizona State kind of fell back once they got into conference play. Still exciting team to watch. 33-33, our score here. Now, Kevin Willard, we thought he was arguing about the over and back call but he was actually arguing about Desi Rodriguez picking up his third foul. Rodriguez has to sit. Brunson at the line. Javon Brunson, there's Desi Rodriguez. And that's up the last three and a half minutes. One of your best players has to come sit next to you on the bench. Brunson had 19 points on Thursday against Creighton. This is the second. Right now he's got eight. Villanova up 34 to 33. 318 to play. First half. Okay. Looking inside for Delgado. Active hands by Eric Pascal. Guarded by the freshman. Inside, gets the basket. Easy does it. Cosby Roundtree getting lost in that pick and roll situation. He got lost, but also spread on the opposite wing was Miles Powell. So DiVincenzo couldn't help on the middle screen and roll because if he committed too early, cross court pass, and Powell can make you, make you pay. 10 points, five rebounds for Delgado. Brunson trying to create inside. And a traveling violation. Now watch how this play works. Now, quick pick and roll right in the middle of the court. He dies down. DiVincenzo has to stay home. That opens up the middle pass right inside. So well drawn up play. But how about the execution part on Carrington to Delgado? 35-34 Pirates. Wow, quick release. Can't get one to fall. Spevel with the rebound, even Chinzo high stepping, and he dropped. Come on, Angel Delgado, big game. Scoring the basketball using that brute strength inside, but showing the depth touch. Some nice moves on the post. Yeah, he wants to get to that right hand jump hook, but he's shown the ability, Gus, to spin to the baseline and finish with his offhand. Angel again now facing up on the baseline. Double jab step, 12 foot jump shot, short. And that element of the board. Yeah, and that's what you want him to do, guys. You want him to shoot a fadeaway jump shot. Three rebounds for the freshman Spellman. 
two minutes to play, first half. Seed Paul by a penny. Brunson, in and out dribble, gets there. Lost it on the way up, gets it back, Spellman, three. Good six feet, ten. Versatile, could hit you outside or inside. Kale with the step on the baseline, the first layup, no. Batted around, picked up Brunson. Spellman, diagonal pass, DiVincenzo. Back to Spellman. Bridges, explodes, rejected out of bounds by Sonogo. I mean, guys, this was good transition offense, but better transition defense. Sonogo able to come from the weak side and say, not this afternoon, Bridges. 20 on the shot clock. DiVincenzo handoff down the lane, left hand up high. The big ragu. Offhand, explosion, showing that athletic ability, but the tight curl. 39-35. Villanova starting to find their rhythm. Largest lead of the game now for the number one team in the nation. The big ragu showing the athleticism. Left hand. Hold together. A little left. Washington crossing the Delaware Turnpike? Surprising. What's not surprising? How much money Sean saved by switching to Geico. Big man with a horn. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. The upsets keep coming in college basketball. Six top 25 teams lost yesterday. But, it, but isn't that a microcosm of what we saw all year in college basketball that some of the top teams, especially when they went on the road to play, it just wasn't as easy in the past. I mean, it's better balances in these conferences. So I'm not surprised when I see you know, a top team lose. Jay Wright wants to make sure that his team, the top team in America, that they don't lose today. This Seton Hall squad looks like they are game. To compete. Harrington crosses over DiVincenzo. Pulls up. That's a brick. Loose ball. Delgado off the glass. And he gets a roll. That one almost just fell out of his hand. But that was grown man shrimp, Gus. Underneath, he had two guys draped off of him. His ability to rebound with one hand is special. Inside Spellman. Gets his own rebound and sticks it back. I tell you what, how about Spellman? I, I just feel like I'm looking at a young Derek Coleman. Spellman 6'10 listed. You know, his, his body is different than Derek when he first came into Syracuse. You remember how skinny Derek was, but his ability to beat you off the dribble, to shoot it, and to rebound, what made him so, so special. Delgado, Spellman with a quick rebound. Here's Brunson. 16 seconds ago. Timeout going over. 41 to 37. Wildcats will play for the last shot right after this. Game Saturday on Fox with the double dose of college hoops. Featuring the best of the Big East. First, top ranked Villanova look to take a bite out of the Bulldogs. Then, Trayvon Blewett and sixth ranked Savior bring the battle to the Blue Jays. Big Game Saturday. It all starts at 11.30 Eastern on Fox. The greatest day in all of racing returns this February. The Daytona 500 kicks off the new season. President's Day weekend, only on Fox. Gus Johnson, Jim Jackson, Lisa Byington, 41 to 37. Villanova leading Seat Hall here in Big East play, 16.3 to go. So Jay Wright sends out Spellman, runs and bridges Pascal and even Shinzo. You see, why take that time out? Well, now you got an opportunity to work on the play that you're going to design maybe at the end of the game to kind of get the shot you want. They give it to Brunson. Ten seconds. Steven Shinzo pulls up deep. Air ball loose. Carrington, six seconds to go. Carrington cross down. Midtown traffic. Kale tried to pick it up and a foul called on Steven Shinzo. 
with 1.7 remaining. Sometimes when you're in transition, you get penalized for great hustle, and that time the reach, I think, is where Steven's Not shooting foul. Right. Only five team fouls against Villanova as Ko gets up slowly, trying to walk it off. That's a good call. I mean, Divincenzo came. Divincenzo came across with his right arm. To substitute Philip Flory comes in. And Delgado returns. 1.7 on the game clock. Let's see if they can get Delgado a close look. Cosby Roundtree for Brunson. Carrington the inbounder. 1.7 to go. Ah, oh, for three. Short. Spellman, though, the catalyst for Villanova in the first half. The redshirt freshman with 15 points and six rebounds. And Villanova heads into the locker room with a 41 to 37 lead. Let's go to Lisa Byington with Jay Wright. You knew Angel Delgado would be a handful. What more can you do on their inside game? He's just really good, man. He's really physical. Um, and he's intelligent, too. You know, you. If you do too much to him, he threw a great pass when we, when we left him to start the double. He's just a handful, man. Amari Spellman has been a handful for years. In this league, the best rebounder. I'm proud of him. Thank you. Thanks. Gus? All right, thank you very much, Lisa. That's the end of the first half with the score. Villanova 41, Seton Hall 37. We'll send you to Rob Stone in Los Angeles right after this. Welcome back to Big East College Basketball, sponsored by Jeep Grand Cherokee. We're at halftime here in Philadelphia, where today Villanova honored the 1987-88 men's team that lost to Oklahoma in the Elite Eight. Mark Blansky, Kenny Wilson, how about our good friend Doug West? They were stars on that team. Gus Johnson, Jimmy Jackson, and in this first half, we had nine ties, 11 lead changes. Seton Hall led by as many as seven, Villanova by as many as four, and the big men really played well in that first half. We talked about key players to watch his guard play, but it's been about the big men. Angel Delgado for Seton Hall, the ability for him to score the basketball, set screens, and dominate on the glass is what stood out. And how about Amari Spellman? Stepping outside, showing the depth touch from inside the arc, but also three-point line, but also getting dirty inside. 15 points for Spellman, 10 points for Delgado. And let's take a look at the Jeep stats. Both teams shooting a high percentage. Well, they are, but look at this right here. 24 points in the paint compared to 16 for Seton Hall, a place where they can make their money. Let's go to Lisa Byington. Well, Gus, the biggest problem for Seton Hall is going to try to keep Desi Rodriguez from avoiding getting that fourth personal. Kevin Willard told me we might even have to play a little bit of a zone here in the second half. That's not ideal because we haven't done that for very long here this season. He is going to keep Rodriguez on Brunson for now. He feels like actually that's safer, believe it or not, than DiVincenzo, who moves a little bit more than Brunson does. Gus. Actually, he's starting on Bridges. They kind of make a switch there, Lisa. And a quick foul to start the second half. And that's the second foul on Carrington. And it's always tough, too, as a coach, an imposing coach, guys. You want to figure out ways without doing isolations to get a player in foul trouble involved so he can pick up a foul. So let's see if he tries to do a lot of movement with Mikael Bridges with Rodriguez on him. See if he can pick up that four. Brunson making the first. Leads the Big East and is 15th nationally with an assist to turnover ratio of 3.2 to 1. Taking care of the ball, man. I mean, we value point guards who score down, but we forget their main job is ball distribution and being the leader out front. And that's what he does as well as anybody. 
10 points for Brunson. Largest lead of the game now for Villanova. Powell, Sonogo, baseline, Rodriguez. And good. That thing is coming off his hand so sweet. Desi Rodriguez. Yeah, how about the patience that time to attack a soft 1-2-2 two, two press? And coaches always talk about passing through the press, not dribbling that time well executed. 12 points for Rodriguez. Remember, he has three fouls. He's guarding Bridges. The lob, even Chinzo inside. Gets it back. Jump hook, no. Gets his own rebound and a foul. Right, way to stay with it. See, the Hawks doing an excellent job right here with this 1 2 2 press. But again, the pass is here. The defense has to shift back in. But again, making quick decisions against the press allows Rodriguez to get an op open three point shot in the corner. Now, Carrington picks up his third. DiVincenzo, stop and start. Drives to the hole, bump fake, but he traveled. Fourth turnover of the game. For the number one team in the nation, Villanova. Yeah, that time Deep Tenzo didn't get to that classic jump stop. That's so prevalent in the offensive scheme for Villanova. Ow. Rodriguez. Driving hard. Jump stop. Left hand tier drop. No. Oh, Pascal went down hard. Gets up slowly. Pascal is hurt. Ooh. Listen to this. Oh, I mean, he's up and... I mean, the bulk of the contact was absorbed by his back. Luckily, Gus, it didn't look like he hit, hit his, his head. head. If there's anything to be worried about with these Wildcats, it's depth. Yes, they just got Gillespie back after an eight-game absence due to a fracture in his left hand. One more look. And the impact here was, like I said, absorbed by the middle and lower back, so it did prevent Pascal's head from impacting and really could have been worse by hitting the surface. So they'll look at him on the Villanova sideline. Delgado, guarded by Spellman. Been a great matchup between two bigs today. Carrington, guarded by Brunson. Step back, jumper. Oh! Oh! Delgado taps it to himself and bakes it in. Again, another one-hand rebound. His ability with his right hand to hold his opponent off and still be able to tap the ball to himself, grab it, and then finish with what's, what makes him so special. 12.7 rebounds for Angel Delgado. Bridges elevated in the paint, short. Rodriguez grabs the board. He'll bring it up the floor. Rodriguez inside Delgado again. Nice pass. Great finish. 7 0 run for the Pirates, and they take a one point lead. How about the passing? The passing by Seton Hall right now. It's on point, on time, on target. All you have to do is catch and finish. Delgado get his opportunity to go at two freshmen, whether it be Cosby Roundtree or Spellman. Here's Bridges guarded by Rodriguez. Rodriguez has three fouls, leans in on him, goes right through. Bridges with seven. Smart play, Gus. See if they keep feeding Delgado. Sonogo pulls up. Good. Ishmael Sonogo with four. Yeah, when he opened, when he hits that shot, Gus, what that does, it one, it gives the perimeter guys a little bit more room, but it also gives Delgado more room and more space to work with, knowing that Sonogo can knock down that jump shot. Brunson posting, draws a double. They reverse it. Bridges takes a three. Rick, loose, hooked up, Sonogo off the deck. Here comes a racing Desi Rodriguez. Carrington, baseline, foul, oh, aggressive to the hole. And the whistle. Looks like this foul will go against Bridges. Seton Hall.
We'll get back in transition. Mikael Bridges outside the paint. Actually, they call an offensive foul. Right? Delgado inside. Look at this. Holding off Brunson with one hand. Come here, young little fella. Let me get this rebound now, able to score. One Roll. thing Coach Willard talked about when we sat down with him before the game is the guards figuring out a way to get the ball to the bigs for Seton Hall. And a lot lost all the post pass entries, guys. Bridges spinning on the baseline, too strong. Ball picked up by Rodriguez. Diagonal pass, Carrington runs in his back. Hero steps to the hole, off the glass with the left hand, and good. Carrington with 10. Super Bowl Sunday in Philadelphia, folks. Big game coming up later. We got a big game right here now. Brunson. Pascal back in. A three. Yeah, that's good. I guess he's all right. I think he is. <laughs> Five shake. points for Pascal. All right. Way to shake it off a little bit and come back. <laughs> Set the pick and let it go. Ball knocked out of play. And it's going to make a basketball. 15.37 to go in the second half. We're level at 48. Eric Pascal, listen. I took a hard fall, but it won't affect my jump shot. Three ball, top of the key. Hey, Jimmy. Time to put that Ohio State education to use. Time for the mock selection. <laughs> All right, Coach Willard. If you can pick one of these teams to go into the NCAA tournament right now, you're the chair, Jimmy. Who did you take? Uh, uh, right now, I'm going to take the middle. 16 to 7 RPI, 62 strength of schedule, but more importantly, RPI versus the top 50 to 4 and 4. And who are these teams? Let's see. Ah. NC State. Aha. Yeah. Steve Shear, what do you think about that? Uh, the first one of the year. Steve Shear, our producer. Stevie Wonder, NC State with that big win against Duke at home. Mm -hmm. I love it. I thought Coach Krzyzewski was interested yesterday after the games. He said, my team was disgusting. Some strong words. These aren't the guys that I'm used to coaching. Well, think about the, we had the game. A lot of the unforced turnovers they had that led St. John's to be able to get out and get some transition points in. Here's Pascal, drives, kicks, runs it, fires, and kicks. Just here's, it runs. here's the thing about this team. Just because you're in position, you have to be ready to get your hand up on these guys, because they catch and shoot so quick. 13 for Brunson, he averages 19, Rodriguez. Inside, Desi Rodriguez has been hell-bent to get that ball in the basket. 14 today for Desi, and he cuts the Villanova lead to one. You remember when Desi would play kind of out of control at times, let, let his emotions get to him, and, but now you see him and Carrington, you know, maturity has stepped in for both of them, and he's paying huge dividends. Basket, wants to go, spins on him, cut off, and travel. Oh, they call three seconds on it. Well, I go back to the play. Now, you're in position off Pasco, okay? He gets his own defense. He dribbles down, dribbles down, okay? Now you got a relocation. But I want you to keep your eye on the hands of Kadeem Carrington. It's down. You, you got to come up hands high and ready to contest. Carrington, Rodriguez, Delgado, Sonogo, Powell. Al hadn't hit a big jump shot yet. Desi Rodriguez, no. And flying in is DiVincenzo to a streaking Brunson. DiVincenzo with four rebounds. Pascal down the lane. And one punch man. 53-50. He has seven. Pascal. See if they look for Powell. Carrington turns the corner. Left hand short. Spellman with another rebound. Even Chinzo to Pascal. Steps into a three. And Bridges is there for the foul. 10 2 run for Villanova. They go up by five. 
Crowd back in it. Coach Willard said to his guys, be strong. And a foul on Carrington, and that's his fourth. And how many times you have this exchange up top where your post players are beating each other, and now he's Eric Pascal is able to put the ball on the deck, one dribble to get to the cup. Now, this is just poorest defense here by Seton Hall. There's no way one dribble you get in there. And Kevin Willard not happy with this foul. Thinks it's incidental contact, but the official right there. So his best player will have to go off. Carrington sits at the 13-21 mark. As you look at the foul trouble. Well, that's huge. Best player, decision maker, ball handler. Pascal. Long jump shot short. Power with the rebound. He'll kick it out to Rodriguez on the move. And let's see how the Seton Hall team operates right here. Baseline, so no go. Create space blocked by Bridges out of bounds. Jalen Brunson diving into the stands. Keep in mind, Mikel Bridges' offense has taken off so much, we tend to forget where he cut his teeth. And it was on the defensive end. That's what got him on the court. That's what got him playing time. How can he get one to fall? No, but he's fouled by Gillespie behind the three-point line, and Jay Wright can't believe it. He just walks all the way down to the other end of the bench. He can't believe it. Gillespie, a freshman. And some of the things you have to, to live with, but you know, Gillespie originally wanted to redshirt. Shooting three. Oh, boy, has he transformed his body. Look at him when he was in high school, Jimmy. That's the kid on the left. Unbelievable. Diet, work ethic. The system here at Seton Hall, but also a belief that you can be a better player and that in better shape. He's put the work in, that's for sure. Well, to keep it off, too. I mean, and to be honest with you, from a selfish. Uh oh. Looks like a lane violation against Villanova. So Powell will get one more sh chance at it. Pascal stepping in early. A little bit early. And I was gonna say about power from an ego perspective, looking at Maryland like, hmm, that looks pretty good. Second free throw goes two for three. Jay Wright. Now DiVincenzo, 55 52. DiVincenzo down the lane. Gillespie. 14 to shoot. Dante. Gets it up in the lane, back door, Gillespie deep in the corner, and check it out, let's get out. Sonogo, with six to shoot. Yeah, a little tough right here. Sonogo with the long arms and reach here. Now, this is a tough position in this corner, Gus, to get the ball in bounds. You don't have a lot of real estate to work with. We saw it yesterday with Shimori Pons. Well, Shimori just was able to catch right there by the sideline and bench and just let it go for three. Bridges, and he throws it out of bounds. Off kick, they say. Now well, subs coming in. Michael Enzi will replace Sonogo. Jordan Walker on the floor for Seton Hall, number two, guarding Jalen Brunson. 
How about using Gillespie that time? Coach Jay Wright getting some valuable minutes for rest for Brunson. Shot clock reset. Here's Brunson squatting on the baseline. Posting. Elevates. Easy. <laughs> 15 for Brunson. Approaching the 12-minute mark. 57-52. Number one team in the nation tested on their home court today. Desi Rodriguez has done a good job playing with those three fouls. Drive, fire, and hits. Man, he looks great. Yeah, I remember it was, it was once upon a time when going right for Desi was a challenge. Again, growing his game and understanding how much more effective he can be by putting it on the deck to his right. And maybe shoot that little floater inside. Rodriguez with 16. 57 54. Bridges giving it to Brunson. Now he'll post on the other sideline. Draws a double, gets down the baseline. And a foul called on Walker. Talked about Jalen Brunson, his ability to post up inside, knowing the double team won't come. Let me get to the middle, show you a little soft touch. Jump shot inside, and Desi. Going to his right hand, a nice little floater. Senior has been effective all afternoon. On Super Sunday in Philadelphia, biggest day of the year in the city of brotherly love, Eagles, Wild Fox, with the double dose of college hoops. Featuring the best of the Big East. Oh, bam. First, top ranked Villanova looked to take a bite. Fires on it. Out of the Bulldogs. Then, Trayvon Blewett and sixth ranked savior. Oh, Bring the battle to the Blue Jays. <laughs> Big game Saturday. It all starts at 11.30 Eastern on Fox. And hey, welcome back to Big East College Basketball sponsored by Jeep Grand Cherokee. Our score, 57-54. Wildcats on top of the Pirates. Let's go inside the huddle with Seton Hall coach Kevin Willard. Everybody's got to protect each other a little bit. Let's not be so tight out on these guys. I know Spellman's made a couple. I know he can make one. But right now, it's only a three-point game. Yeah, I don't want to overextend. You understand what I'm saying? Don't overextend. Talking to Kevin Willard is all about being connected defensively, being able to protect the paint but also get out to shooters. What they don't want to do is spread it out, get too thin, and now, Dribble penetration breaks down the defense, and then it opens up offensive rebound. Let's go to Lisa Byington. Well, I was in the huddle with uh, Jay Wright, and he challenged his team. He said, look, we're playing right into Seton Hall's hands. We're not a one-on-one -on -one game. Stop watching Jay, meaning Jay, Brun or, yeah, Jay Brunson to, to, to. Go ahead, Lisa. Take your time. Take your time. He said, stop watching Jay Brunson try to make a play for us, and let's share the basketball. And he really challenged the Kel Bridges, too. So keep an eye on that in the next offensive possession for Bridges to get a little bit more active, guys. All right, thank you very much. Powell finally gets a three-point ball to go down. 11, his first three-point make of the day. And that last defensive possession for Seton Hall, no communication, no one talking. And Pascal able to slip in and get an easy dunk from underneath out of bounds. Even Chinzo step back 11 footer rims off Desi Rodriguez with a two handed board. Here comes Desi. He's been feeling it. 16 points for this young man. Senior baseline jump shot short and the rebound to Spellman. Aaron Gordon couldn't get it to fall. Spellman with eight rebounds. Brunson posted up again. Gets inside, oh. on fake, and a foul. On the pass. And a look at the Big East standings. Well, of course, Villanova up top, Seton Hall trying to create some space between Creighton right behind him, but Creighton Butler, Providence kind of that next tier, fighting for position. Second half of the season should be very, very interesting, guys. Big win yesterday for Providence over Marquette. Runs it off a screen. He's got Boogie in his game, folks. He'll beat you down low. He'll beat you off the dribble, and he'll kill you with that jump shot. He's got his mama's looks and <laughs> He has 18. Rodriguez. Delgado. 
Inside. Blocked by Spellman. Delgado gets it back. Powell for three. Uh-oh. What Trenton makes, the world takes. How about the offensive rebound, but then the recognition to get it to Powell, who was able to square up and hit the three, but Jalen Brunson being patient. You talk about getting something from his mother. Yeah, it was just jump shot. Splash right here for three. And not to be denied, Miles, Miles Powell, spot up, give me the ball, I'll make you pay. Number one, Villanova with a 62 to 60 lead over Seton Hall. Now I tell you, Seton Hall and Villanova have played some classic games in the Big East tournament. In 2014, Sterling Gibbs hit a buzzer beater to upset Nova in the quarterfinals. In 2016, Isaiah Whitehead's layup gave Seton Hall the title. And last year, Angel Delgado missed a game-tying layup in the semifinals as Nova went on to win the Big East tournament. This game reminiscent of some of the huge battles they've had in March. Jay Wright, Coach Billy. But Seton Hall, they've gone away from Angel Delgado. They have, I think a lot of it too is the Kadeen Carrington off the court. The side and middle pick and roll was very effective in getting Delgado. Remember Carrington has four fouls. That's right. Brunson. Pascal with a step on the base. Oh! Goes up strong. No call. Loose out of bounds. Rodriguez couldn't hold on. Tell you what, Pascal will embarrass you. Well, how about the baseline drive? That time, poor closeout by Powell, but Snowbo on the back line. Verticality straight up and down. Board it to five. Spellman steps out for three. Yeah. This kid is nice. And it's, that's what kills you because you, you understand that Bridges, DiVincenzo, um, Brunson, they're going to make threes. But now when Pascal and also Spellman are making threes, Delgado just takes the ball and says, give it to me, and goes to the basket and draws contact. Well, again, Delgado being the senior initiates this contact. Boom. Left shoulder, left shoulder. Spillman, you know that Delgado wants to get inside to his right side to shoot. It's just powerful, but I was going back to this point. When you got your post players being able to step out and shoot threes, I mean, it puts so much stress on the opposing team's defense. Delgado, a struggle from the free throw line. During his career, he's a 60% free throw shooter this season. They missed them both. Spelling with the rebound. What a game for Spellman. Nine rebounds to go along with 18 points. And he's done it in a multitude of ways. DiVincenzo, baseline, Bridges, and one. The largest lead of the game now for Villanova, seven. How about the recognition against the soft 2-3 zone? DiVincenzo off the dribble, but how about Mikael Bridges? Instead of staying married to the three-point line, he made a cut back door, able to get sliced right into the middle of the zone defense. Maybe get a conventional three-point play. Bridges adds the free throw. He has 12. Nova up by eight. Carrington back in the game with the ball. Playing with four fouls. They need his offense. Howes hit back-to-back -back three point shots. Delgado calling for it. Draws a double. They swing it. Oh, can he do it again? Yes, he can. 17 points for Powell. He had six at the break. 68-63. Brunson, always patient. Spellman, another three. Guts. I know Derek Coleman is sitting in Detroit watching this game, and he says, that's how I used to play. Loose ball knocked out of bounds. And it's going to be Seton Hall basketball. 
Spellman with 21 points, nine rebounds. He's from Ohio, playing in the city of brotherly love. Fox College Hoops is sponsored by Progressive, your first round pick for car insurance. Our score is 71 to 63, number one Villanova on top of Seton Hall. The game reset is sponsored by SoFi, rethinking personal finance. Well, you look at the foul trouble right here, seven fouls for the Pirates now, you get your, the Wildcats, you want to get to the free throw line, use that to your advantage to see if Seton Hall can play defense without fouling, especially protecting these two. Carrington with four. Yeah. Rodriguez was three and Gillespie with three. Let's go to Lisa Byington. That was one thing that Kevin Willard looked at Carrington and Rodriguez and said, you guys have survived this foul trouble, but you got to be smart. We can't have you be heroes. And then he looked at his entire team and he said, I cannot have more confidence in you guys than you do in yourself that you can win this game. You got to take it with the last eight minutes to play, I guess. All right. Carrington backs it up, guarded by DiVincenzo. Top of the key, jump shot. Off the back rim, loose. High bounds, and it'll be Villanova basketball. Seton Hall gets away from getting the easy ones. They won't go to Delgado when they need it most. Well, again, it's like, like they can't recognize him. Well, I like to see him get back to that middle pick and roll, side pick and roll. That got Delgado on the move. Runs in, nice ball fake. Short. Spellman, another rebound. Pascal, the kick, even Chinzo. Oh, the is banked in. Looks like Bridges got a hand. 73-63, 10 point lead. Largest of the game for number one Villanova starting to pull away now. Rodriguez three. Desi Rodriguez stops the bleeding. He has 19. Yeah, that time Mikhail Bridges got caught inside late on the rotation. And once again, it was a senior Rodriguez able to respond with a critical three. Now Kevin Willard. Looks like he'll be warned to relax a bit. Michael Stevens doesn't want to tee him up. Seventy-three, sixty-six. Brunson. Spellman. Guarded by Delgado. He's been wearing the senior out. Pascal quickly to the basket. Like a freight train moving at 100 miles an hour, and now they're jawing, jawing between the two teams. Powell. Officials will take a look. And guys, this is the part of the game where Seton Hall can't allow the frustration to overcome what they've done well and then make mistakes down the stretch of the game. Again, Pasco off the dribble, on the move, made it tough for Delgado to stay in front of him without committing the foul. And you see a little jarring going on right here in the push by Powell. In Powell's going to get thrown out for that. Well, yeah, I mean, it's unnecessary. I mean, you're right here in the crux of this game. The last thing you want to do is get more momentum by hurting yourself emotionally. Yeah, yeah he's going to get thrown out yeah. for that. Went to the face. Yep. Yeah. Double technical foul. 10 and 13. They're offset. Oh. They'll call a double technical foul. 10 and 13. The offset. Foul. Got to be careful. Well, Powell got away with that. Because and, you, and you had just said, didn't you? Seton Hall has to control their emotions. You got to. I mean, and that's what makes Villanova so good because they don't get caught up into the little stuff. You know, they don't beat themselves. And 
I think the officials gave Paul a break. He could have gotten Chuck for that. Oh, yeah. I mean, these are emotional young men, especially with Seton Hall coming into this environment. Number one team, they want to prove that they can beat him. But you, but you do it the, the right way, the smart way. So Pascal at the line. Another clear once again, and the officials want to take another look at the monitor. They, they may have gotten word a little bit about that elbow. Right there. Di Vincenzo, smart kid, didn't respond. Oh, my Eads. In the huddle, he's talking to Powell. Relax. So Pascal at the line, nine points today. Fordham transfer. So athletic. I mean, off the charts athleticism. And what a pickup. I mean, it fits perfectly. It's a really good combination of what he can do with shoot it, but also attack off the dribble. Excellent defender. He's a junior, one more season. Rodriguez inside. And Izzy Rodriguez will go to the free throw line. Jay Wright will have a conversation with Pascal. Well, he's telling him to help, too, because that was a drawn-up isolation play at the top of the key for Desi Rodriguez to go one-on-one -on -one against Miguel Bridges. And that time, he didn't have any help support on the back on the back side. Rodriguez with 19 points on 8 of 12 shooting, also with 7 rebounds. Six oh nine to go. Seventy four sixty six. Second free throw good for Desi. Brunson, Vincenzo, Bridges, Haskell, Spellman. Spellman is going to start it. Sets the screen. Haskell, Spellman calling for it. This match inside. Vincenzo in the basket. He has 10. Great recognition that time by Di Vincenzo. Saw the baseline open up and Carrington couldn't get his body off of Spillman to help. Easy layup. Powell. To the hole. Rejected by Spillman. Picked up by Brunson. He gets smacked in the face. They play on. Di Vincenzo. Court Bridges. The big ragu looking inside. Spell. Watch this. Across the lane. And a whistling foul. And Tanoga didn't have to reach down. Delgado had him under control one on one. But go back. Isolation. You see the mismatch inside. Carrington got on the high side. Now no one from Seton Hall reacted to the dribble drive and then opposite end. Spellman showing much more. Defensive prowess in this game, taking that two away. Spellman with 21 points, 10 rebounds, his sixth double double, making 22. You go back right here, you talked about Brunson, Gus, right here by Sonogo. Incidental contact, he did reach across, but. Spellman again. Mm. He's got 23 and 10, a couple of blocks as well. Played good defense on Angel Delgado. He shut him out in the second half. Carrington picks it up. Delgado shows it inside. Nice push Did you see that? That's a you see that? that was old school right there, right? It, it was low enough that 
the officials really couldn't see it, but it impacted Pascal, I mean, uh, Spellman enough to push him back to get that right jump hook off. <laughs> and Angel, is, Angel is frustrated. He can't get touches. Spellman, another three. Big fella. Watch out. He's from Cleveland, Ohio. And he is putting up numbers today, 26 and 10. Old school, post up. Uh, take that and give me those two right there. You got me inside, Omar Spellman said, but listen, I can do things a little bit better. Three ball at the top of the key in your face. NBA three, Jimmy. 81-69, Villanova trying to pull away with this one as we take a look at the game reset. Pirates with one timeout remaining, Villanova with three. And the possession arrow favoring Seton Hall. Time now for the Rocket Mortgage by Quicken Loan moment of the game. Well, since we've been giving our man from OH and a dime a little love, might as well continue that right now. Amari Spellman, six, six for seven from behind the three-point line, 26 points, 10 rebounds. Such a tough guard, but continuing to grow and expand this game, Gus, he has so much more to give. But you love the progress and what you see early on. Remember, his career high is 27 against Temple. He was 11 of 14 shooting back on December 13th. He's got 26 right now with 425 to go. Also 10 rebounds. Rodriguez guarded by Pascal. Rodriguez got has to hurry and he doesn't get it off in time. Well, nice closeout by yes, Pascal. It was. But part of the two, Desi Rodriguez didn't give himself a chance or an advantage on that side of the court. He was so close to the sideline, and then everybody kind of ran around him instead of getting open in space. That, that helped cause that turnover as well. Brunson. It was a two-point game five minutes ago. Villanova on a 19-9 run. Castillo, Sonogo. He's got Carrington. Carrington straight to the hoop. And from behind. Looks like DiVincenzo got a piece. Sonogo claims it. DiVincenzo with the steal and he's fouled to the midcourt line. The big ragu all over the floor defensively. Well, that's two plays. One in transition. He didn't give up. He was able to get the block from behind and Sonogo off the block got the rebound then tried to kick it back out, but coaches always work on this too. Don't give up on the play. Get back and hustle defense. Pascal able to get there and slow Carrington up a little bit. DiVincenzo able to clean it up from the back. Yeah. 17 on Thursday against Creighton for Dante. He's got 10 today. Make it 11. 82 69, 350 to go. Super Bowl Sunday in Philly. Eagles with the big game coming up against Tom Brady and the Patriots. Carrington almost lost it in a region foul coming up. Now, I know we're in Philadelphia and I know you're an Eagles fan. I mean, a Pittsburgh fan. Okay. Who do you like in this Eagles Patriots matchup? It's hard to go against the GOAT, man. Yeah. I mean, it, because they the game, they just don't beat themselves, man. You know, it's, but I love Philly. I mean, I love aggressive defense. I think defensively, if any team can really negate some of what the Patriots do is the Eagles. Carrington kicks it out. Foul three. Vincenzo with a rebound. They don't start the offense. Wildcats in no rush now. 3.14 to go, up 82 to 69. Brunson, pull up three off the screen, and he's fouled by Miles Powell behind the line. He'll shoot three. Next five games for Coach Wright's team. St. John's at home. Watch out. Shamori Pons has been a scoring machine. Butler, PC, Xavier in Cincinnati, and DePaul. Runs it with 18 points. He averages 19. Right at his season average.
20. One more coming. He gets all three, 7-0 run for Villanova. They have their largest lead of the game now, 85 to 69. Let's see if Seton Hall can get something going to the basket on this possession, kind of settle for some long jump shots. Delgado pushes off with the shoulder. He returns over the rebound. They're racing to the front court, pass to the trailer. Euro step left, they flip the big record. With 13 points, Spellman another rebound is 11. Look at Jalen Brunson, slowing it down. They're not in the rush offensively. Seton Hall wanted to take Villanova in the deep waters. The number one team in the nation can take a punch and fight back. Bridges. Masterful coaching job by GQJ. His boys were ready. Listen, big Ragu understanding that today carries him the back pedal and wasn't going to give it up all the way to the basket. Ball fake, you go for it, I'm going to make you pay. Precision offense by this Villanova team late under four minutes. Ninety to sixty-nine. Twenty-eight to nine run for Villanova in the last eight minutes. So Seton Hall, their next five games. Marquette at home on Wednesday, then at Georgetown and at number six Xavier, followed by followed by DePaul and at Providence. Yes, you know how much discipline you got to have in late in the game situation. Coaches try to put their teams, can't hardly simulate, but in practice in three minute, four minute situations, how you're going to execute, what plays you want to run offensively and defensively. And that's up to, to these young men to understand and internalize that to bring it to the game. And Villanova does it as well as anybody, especially when they have to protect the lead because they don't force shots, they don't turn the ball over. And defensively, they're still locking in, and that's the difference in why you see them in late game situations stretch out their lead. The big ragu with a career high, seven assists, five in the second half. A little zone defense coming out the timeout right here. Delgado. Oh. 18 for Angel and eight rebounds. As Gillespie comes back in. Brunson will take a seat with two minutes to play. Bridges also out of the game. Right. Tim Delaney has checked in. Number 34. For the Cats. Here's Gillespie who gets some late game experience. Drops his shoulder on Walker. Walker reaching in. May not do that again. Aggressive defense by Walker. But watch the contact. That little head-on-head -head contact, too. That's a Ryan Archie Diacono play right there. Yeah. Archie Diacono now with the Bulls. From what I understand, he's up with the big team. He's bounced back and forth between the D League or the G League and the NBA. Started with San Antonio. It was interesting talking to Coach Wright. I said this before Gillespie wanted to actually redshirt. But with Jermaine Sam Samuels going down with a hand injury, that opened up an opportunity for Colin to get some PT. 140 to play. Villanova. Great second half. 90 to 71 the score right now. This has been a grind out kind of game. Yeah, but you know, Villanova is, beat, is built to beat you in a number of different ways. You know? They can do it, as you mentioned, in a number of different ways. As Sandro knocks down the jump shot on the baseline. His first basket of the game. Vincenzo 
Great in the second half. Taking his time as we close in on a minute to go. Pascal took a hard fall, but bounced back. Delaney with a rebound in the corner of Gillespie, a three. Rebound. And the easy bucket for Cosby Roundtree. And guys, let me say this. Roundtree had some valuable minutes in the meat of the game. When he came in and spelled either Spillman or Pascal, rebounding the ball, playing defense, he kept some plays alive. That's what you need from your bench. Delgado fouled and will go to the line. So we will give Villanova the win here. We see the updated Big East standings. Again, the separation part. Xavier's still there, especially being tough in their home court. But again, the muddle part in the middle is where you're going to look at in the league. And that tells you the strength of the league also. That middle portion, the middle portion of it. A lot of intriguing games on the slate coming up, Gus, that can maneuver teams. But this kid. Spellman, what a day, what a rebound by Devin Chinzo. It's amazing when you see the progression of a young man right in front of your face. You know, and that's why they were so high on him the last year when he couldn't play. You know, what, what value he added to what they already had. Devin Chinzo, jump shot, loose. Seton Hall has it. And a quick foul coming up with 18.9 seconds to go. Coach Willard will go back to the drawing board. Seton Hall lost to Nova three times last season by 30, 22 in the regular season and by two in the conference semifinals. But they competed today. Well, they did. And it's, it was a two to three minute stretch, Gus, where I thought Seton Hall kind of lost composure defensively, gave up some stuff, took some long shots. And that allowed Villanova to kind of stretch that lead out, but all learning points that Kevin Willard can teach in their film session. Seed Hall hasn't won here at Villanova since 1994. And the streak continues. The starters for the Wildcats. Brunson 21. Spellman 26 and 11. Bridges 17. DiVincenzo 13.7 rebounds, seven assists, a career high. Pascal had 10. And the Villanova Wildcats remain the number one team in the nation. They improved their record to 22 and one, nine and one in Big East play. 92 to 76, the final score from Philly. Good sign for the Philadelphia Eagles as they go into the Super Bowl. The number one team in the nation wins. The number one team in the NFC. They've got the big one coming up in Minneapolis later on. For Jim Jackson and Lisa Byington, I'm Gus Johnson. You've been watching Fox College Hoops.